Oh my people, I welcome you once again to my channel. Guys, you know, I usually love calling you out. I, I love addressing you as my family, you know, because you make me me. I just love you guys. I know you've missed me, eh? Yes, it's been a while and I miss you all too. Mm. I know you, you've always expect your gist, your gist queen to bring you the best of entertainment news, right? Yes, once again, I'm coming to your doorstep with the gist international trending news yes i'm back again it's your queen hajia one like i always present to you the best entertainment news hey my people mm. rumors so oh, rumors at long last has finally has finally been solved you want to know right yes but before then this is so important to me i'm asking have you subscribed to my channel no just what are you waiting for what no wonder you've been missing my videos it's because you've not subscribed please do so like and also subscribe like and then you share to your loved ones and oh you know i always love to read your comments right please leave your comments in the comment section down below there are lots of African YouTubers, right? Yes, but I know that you are very familiar with Wademaya. You know Wademaya? Yes, aka Ghana Baby. Yes, you know that guy is just an inspiration. I just love him. I love him. I love the way he sells Africa. I love the way he's, he puts Africa on the map. I just love people who sell, who love to, you know, advertise for africa try to show the good parts of africa we all know that sometimes the western world or the media they don't do just to africa they usually like like to um show the bad side the dirty side of africa but you know these african youtubers oh they are doing wonderfully well they are doing what the media do not show you they love to go to places you know most of african countries to showcase a lot of things they know, like beautiful things, beautiful places. They were the, they, they were the people where when um, YouTube, YouTube was new in the system, they helped to advocate for Africa, you know. They showed the beautiful part of Africa. And a lot of people were surprised, especially the West. They didn't know that um, there, there were nice places like this in Africa. You know, the commonly part where we know that Africa is usually showcased with um, we living on trees, hunger, we, uh, we, we, we take in dirty water, lack of food, we are normally malnourished, no clothes, poverty and all that. These guys came to help eradicate most of these things, you know because they would like to travel to interesting African places to showcase their beautiful things. Yes, Wodimaya is one of those guys who usually do that. I know you are very conversant with him. You know, his, he began his YouTube career in China, you know, where he went to study engineering. Yes, he was there. So one day he decided to go pick a bus or a train. I'm not quite conversant with that, but then... When he went into the train, he took out his phone to video himself. That's where his YouTube, you know, analogy began. Actually, he, he didn't take the pictures or the video for taking sake or video sake. It was because of racism. You want to know how? Yes. He was sitting somewhere and he was isolated. Nobody, the Chinese man, no one wanted to come close to him. And in that era, you cannot tell me that they do not know what it means to be black. They indeed knew. Because if, if, if they do not know or they've not come to um, in terms with black people, let's say for instance, don't they watch people on TV who are black? Well, let me just leave racism at that because 
it doesn't matter how much you are going to say it still remains the same you know if you just um live in terms with it so that's where his actual career for youtube began you know so he began uh letting people know or the chinese know that indeed we existed black people existed it's not only white people or people with color existed or only caucasians there are also a category of people who are blacks in fact who are living in this world yes we too we existed in fact eh, when this guy began his career you know he had a lot of support and um, from africans indeed he will definitely get that support it also opened the eyes of these chinese for them to know that oh okay so after all okay africans we existed okay we are normal people you know yes that's how his career began there then he began traveling you know going on excursions going to different parts of uh the i know he's been to a lot tanzania kenya sierra leone he's ghana nigeria he's told he's told in fact he's gone to a lot of places so <laughs> In one of his moves, going to places, 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 she met, uh, let me say, he met Trudy. Trudy is also a YouTuber, his current wife. Yes. I'm coming to dive you guys into, but I'm just taking you from his journey to meeting the wife. And then, you know, how they ended up getting married. So apparently... They met in Egypt, you know, like about three years ago. So, in the beginning of their relationship, eh, why the reason in my in the beginning of my video I said it was a rumor, right? Yes, it was rumored. Oh, Trudy and Wodemaya, they are engaged, they are dating, you know. They, but they kept playing with us, with our minds. They left us in suspense. They didn't re let us really know that indeed they were dating or not. So along the way. <laughs> Trudy, some time ago, came to visit with the Maya in Ghana. And then he introduced Trudy to the mother, you know. Then and there, some people were like, oh, then these guys are indeed in serious business, you know. So they made their relationship public somewhere two years ago. So, finally, finally, they got married. But you know, the interesting aspect of their marriage, eh? they married on the day Trudy was celebrating the 10th year of their mother's death. So the mother died like 10 years ago and they married on their anniversary. And then when they got, the, the, um, Wodemaya went to the father of Trudy to seek her hand in, mar in, in, her hand in marriage, the father did not charge too much, you know, considering that, oh, this guy is very wise. You decide to marry my daughter on, on the mother's anniversary. Oh, then you are wise. Then I think that I'll make a little things, a little, you know, effort tree for you. So they said that daddy didn't charge much, which I think is a kudos. And though it's normal, but then it's a kudos. Because we, you, you and I will agree that weddings or marriages these days are very expensive. Well, their marriage took place in, uh, it took place in Kenya, through this country. Yes, that's where the marriage took place. But the interesting aspect of it too is that they said they married with 8,500. You know, you can Google that in dollars. It's too much for the average person but with their level i think it's very small and they made their marriage you know a private one a very small one you know so beautiful and simple but then they said they have a they had a lot of sponsorship from people from loved ones from you know business people you know those with the cash the money yes you know would uh the, both youtubers they are very influential so they definitely know a lot of people so they had support from these numerous people they know so they are in 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 all their marriage was somehow so, uh, sponsored 
So, in the comment section, when he posted, a lot was saying that, oh, look at it, so simple and beautiful. In most time, this is what marriage should look like, you know? But 8,500 in this modern Ghana, too, you know it's not a joke, right? It's money. It's a lot of money. But then, considering, you know, their level, you say that, oh, it wouldn't be too much for them. So, um... If you look at the uh, pictures, you can testify that it was so simple and beautiful and cute. In fact, that's what I would love my wedding to be like, you know, yes. I would love it to be something small like that, you know. So, interestingly too, through this ring, they say it was really expensive. Though the marriage was simple, but the ring was an expensive one. And then she jokingly said that she she's even afraid that she will wear it because it's very, very expensive and it was a gift from one of their friends, but then it was expensive. You know, um, in this juncture, we would like to use this opportunity to wish them well. All marriages should be blessed. We pray that their union be blessed and then they keep going. Like as they are going, may their marriage bring blessings. We want more kids. If they want kids, which I know a lot of married people, you know, would want to have kids. So we are praying they have a lot of children, beautiful girls and boys, twins and the triplets, you know. We pray that their union stabilize and then it becomes a blessing unto others too. And their channel will keep growing and keep growing in whatever they do and peace and harmony be in their family oh dear trudy and what maya we are so so happy for you guys we pray that everything goes on may marriage locate you if indeed you also want to be married on this note i'm once again remembering you to subscribe to the channel like and also share and leave your comment in the comment section down below i'm your girl hajia one as usual, I'm signed out. We shall meet again.